Another type of hemolytic anemia is immune hemolytic anemia. The immune system will form antibodies against self antigens. It's called autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Or against non self antigen, it's called alloimmune hemolytic anemia. So we have two types autoimmune and the alloimmune. We have also uh, two types according to the antibodies. If the antibodies that destroy the red blood cells are IgG, it will be warm antibodies because IgG work in uh, 37 degrees, so it's warm antibodies and lead to extravascular hemolytic anemia in the destruction of the red blood cells in the spleen and the liver by macrophage. While if the antibodies are IgM, it will be cold antibodies. IgM works at the temperature less than 37 and will lead to intravascular hemolytic anemia by the aid of the complement. So IgM plus the complement fixation C5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What's called membrane attack complex? Membrane attack complex MAC. Membrane attack complex or MAC, which will lead to perforation in the red blood cells and destruction of the red blood cells. Autoimmune hemolytic anemia, some causes of autoimmune hemolytic anemia. It is uh, systemic lupus erythematosus, very important disease, very important autoimmune disease leading to reddish discoloration of the skin. As you can see, there is butterfly reddish pigmentation of the uh, face of the patient. Autoantibodies against the skin cell, uh, derma, derma, dermatic cells, or, uh, or are red blood cells, and red blood cells, and the kidney, and other organs. Systemic lupus erythematosus is a very important disease, and we have to diagnose it early in order to avoid complications. Also, drugs on the RPCs may lead to auto -anti production of autoantibodies and the destruction of the red blood cells. Uh, malignant cells like the drugs and the infection also will lead to stimulation of the immune system uh, to uh, form autoantibodies and destroy the red blood cell. Sometimes we don't know the cause, so it's called idiopathic. Idiopathic, uh, we do not identify the cause of the autoimmune. Uh, immune hemolytic anemia, uh, peripheral blood smear. So now we have laboratory diagnosis. Screening for the immune hemolytic anemia is the presence of the spherocytes in the uh, peripheral blood smear, microspherocytes. But the confirmatory test for immune hemolytic anemia is Combs test. Combs test or antiglobulin test. It's also called antiglobulin test. We have two names, Combs and antiglobulin test. It's a confirmatory test to detect the antibodies. We have two types of the uh, Combs. It is direct or indirect. Direct if the antibody caught the replaces. And indirect if the antibody is free. So the direct Combs test is confirmatory test for the babies with hemolytic anemia in condition called hemolytic disease of newborn. The mother form antibodies. The antibodies will bind to the RPCs of the baby. So uh, RPCs coated by the antibodies. So direct antiglobulin test is the confirmatory test for the babies. While for the mother, the antibodies are free in the plasma the antibodies are free in the plasma so we have to add uh, red blood cells from outside to the plasma of the mother and then adding the reagent of the combs or antiglobulin in order to detect the uh, the uh, antibodies on the uh, coated the rpcs now so the reaction will be agglutination approximation of the red blood cells together this is indirect antiglobulin test so we have indirect comb test or indirect antiglobulin test it used to diagnose hemolytic disease of newborn uh, in the mother. In the mother, uh, there are free antibodies as we mentioned, so we have to put the red blood cells from outside and to complete the test.